Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about returning features to the Pokemon franchise. Scarlet and Violet has been reintroducing a bevy of older features that the franchise has utilized in previous generations. One of the features that we have not seen officially confirmed yet, but I think should make a return, are Horde Battles. Let's jump right into things. For those of you who do not know, Horde Battles were a feature introduced in Generation 5. Multiple Pokemon attacking you out of the wild at once. This was the generation that introduced a variety of new battle modes. Triple battles and rotation battles against other trainers in the multiplayer were also features introduced in Generation 5. But against wild Pokemon, Horde Battles were a new type of encounter. These came in different types of grass, and they carried over into a couple generations after. In Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, we saw the return of Horde Battles, but since then, they've kind of relaxed a little bit. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, we did have instances where you could face multiple Pokemon at the same time out in the wild, but because of the open world format, this acted a little bit differently and wasn't exactly the same as the Generation 5 and Generation 6 Horde Battles. Now, there are other examples of multiple wild Pokemon attacking you at once, but this came in wild battle trainer double battles, most notably in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum in Eterna Forest. When you partnered with Cheryl to navigate your way to Eterna City, you would encounter Pokemon in a double battle format, but that was because Cheryl was with you. She was a companion. So you sent out a Pokemon, she sent out her Pokemon, and you fought two wild Pokemon. Now, you could encounter shiny Pokemon in these instances, but the only way you could catch one of these two Pokemon is if you fainted one of them and left the other one on the field. Now, a lot of this carried over with Horde Battles in Generation 5 and into the future, and if we see this feature return in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I think there's a couple things that Pokemon is going to need to change to update this format into a modern open world game. One of the things they need to do is eliminate that uh, the knocking out of every single Horde Pokemon to catch a specific Pokemon. One of the things that Pokemon has been working towards in recent generations is making the entire process of battle snappier. One of the criticisms players have levied at the feet of some modern Pokemon games is that the, the pacing between picking your move, having the Pokemon execute the move, having your opponent do something, and then repeat has been too slow. This is something that Legends Arceus greatly improved upon. The combat was much snappier on top of the way in which you engage in combat changing. Now, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is going back to a more formulaic approach to battling. The Pokemon don't seem to be as dynamic out in the overworld, and the battles are back to turn-based, and they do not have some of those alterations that were made in Legends Arceus. But by speeding up the pace at which Pokemon use their attacks, this can still bring those more modern improvements to the classic Pokemon formula. And in Horde Battles, one of the things you need to do is allow the player character to catch Pokemon at will. If you're using Horde Battles as a shiny hunting method as an example, you should be able to catch any Pokemon on the other side of the battlefield, even if there are other Pokemon standing. This is something similar to what XD Gale of Darkness and Pokemon Colosseum did. When you had a shadow Pokemon that appeared on the other side of the field, you could catch that shadow Pokemon even if there were other Pokemon still on the field. They need to take this and adapt it for the modern game. Now, why do I think we're going to see Horde Battles return? Well, on top of the fact that Scarlet and Violet seems to be reintroducing a lot of old features, we're getting a new version of Pokemon and Me and Pokemon refresh in the in the form of picnics. We're getting new camping that we saw in Pokemon Sword and Shield and Pokemon Camp, but we're seeing that as well in picnics. And breeding is returning after being absent from Pokemon Legends Arceus, and this is also seemingly going to come from the picnic system. You're going to be able to find Pokemon eggs in baskets after you make your sandwiches with your Pokemon. So all of these old Let's Go as well. Let's Go Pokemon following you is also a feature returning to Scarlet and Violet. So Game Freak seems to be making a conscious effort to bring back a lot of old fan favorite features and stuffing them all into this one open world experience to hopefully give the players a much 
beefier experience with their runtime of the game. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile and support me, that is always greatly appreciated. On top of the fact that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet seems to be bringing back a lot of old features, raid battles being another one of them, even though they are different. There are some other reasons why I think horde battles could return, one of which comes in some screenshots we've seen from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's overworld. One of the interesting things that we've noticed is that there appear to be certain groups of Pokemon that travel around in packs. We've seen Pokemon in the snowy reaches of the Paldea region clustered together in one specific area, and that has me thinking that you might be able to encounter multiple versions of these Pokemon at once in the wild. Maybe it is a hybrid system of horde battles from Generation 5 and 6, and the multi-battles of Pokemon Legends Arceus, where Pokemon around you could join in on the fight. There are also other instances of how this feature could be called into question in Scarlet and Violet. If we're looking at Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, there was a feature where totem Pokemon could call other Pokemon to their assistance. So maybe if you fight a Pokemon that's out in the overworld and there were other Pokemon present near it, that Pokemon can call for help and bring others to its side. This is going to do a lot to make the overworld appear more dynamic and the transition between the overworld and battles seem more fluid. If you're encountering a single Pokemon out in the wild, you're going to face that Pokemon. But if you encounter a Pokemon and you choose to fight it in an area that was full of different Pokemon running and flying about, maybe others can join in on the battle. Making it more dynamic might also include a way that Pokemon don't all start in the battle. Like I said with Sun and Moon, these totem Pokemon called other Pokemon to their side sporadically through the battle. So maybe other wild Pokemon who are engaged in the other parts of the area around you can come join in later on in the fight. Maybe you've got one wild Pokemon down half HP and two more Pokemon join in the battle. This could be an interesting shiny mechanic where maybe Pokemon that join later on in battles have a higher chance of appearing shiny. That would be one interesting concept that they could pursue. Or maybe it's just that any of the Pokemon out in the overworld at the time can join in or are in all the battle already from the start. These are two different ways that I think you could bring horde battles into modern Pokemon while keeping some of the nuances and quickness of battle that we've gotten in more recent Pokemon games or that Pokemon seems to be trying to push with their modern adaptations. Battles have historically been criticized as boring, as I was talking about earlier in this video. Horde battles could slow things down. Horde battles were exhausting at times, and a lot of trainers wanted to avoid them at all costs, even though it was an interesting shiny hunting method for people who play Pokemon for that reason. But if you wanted to keep the snappiness of modern and Pokemon while also reintroducing this feature with all the other reintroduced features of Scarlet and Violet. I think this is, these are some ways that you could make that happen. But what do you guys think? Do you want to see Horde Battles return in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Did you like Horde Battles in Generation 5 and Generation 6? I would love to know what you guys think down below. And if you want to see more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet discussion videos like this in the future, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss any new content. With that being said, I've been Linky. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.